In another development, Minister of Interior Dr. Lubumi Tunjiojo has reiterated the government's commitment to reform the country's correctional service. He gave the assurance in Abuja during the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund's official launch of a report on the situation of children and young adults deprived of liberty in the country. The event shed light on the situation of children and young adults deprived of their liberty and safeguarding rights, particularly by preventing pre-trial detention of children to ensure every child thrives and reaches full potentials. ADBN's education correspondent, Edi Jomibanga, tells us more. Reports by United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund reveals that many children are denied basic rights. The data shows that pre-trial detention is prevalent, with 68% of children lacking legal representation and limited access to community-based diversion programs. Speaking at the event, Minister of Interior Dr. Tunji Ojo emphasized need to decongest correctional centers to ease economic burden on nation. We feed an inmate as a den with 750 naira. It means you feed an inmate per month. If my mathematics is wrong, it's right. That should be about 22,500 or so. So it means that in a year, 750 multiplied by 365, it means you feed an inmate with over 300,000, keeping him for an offense of 10,000. United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund Deputy Representative in Nigeria, Dr. Ronak Khan, highlighted that Nigeria can safeguard the future generation and mitigate risks associated with children's involvement in crimes and conflict situations by prioritizing child justice and implementing age-appropriate services. The significant rates of uh, children in detention, particularly in the pre-trial detention, it underscores the urgent need for reform in child justice system. Stakeholders at the event shared their views on the report. The findings of this report shows us the urgency of the task at hand. More and more than ever, we understand that justice systems must treat children with dignity, compassion and fairness. The JWC department in the Nigerian police force stand for the juvenile women and the children department. The people posted there as specialized group. And that's why we have not been having serious conflicts with them, with the children. An assessment of this nature will enhance the capacity of stakeholders in handling issues of children and young persons in conflict with the law and provide a veritable resource to better protect this class of more vulnerable children in our society. The event serves as a platform of discourse for needs to strengthen implementation of educational vocational training, mental health program, and rehabilitation of liberty-deprived children, as well as young adults across the country. Edidiong Ibanga, ADBN News.